buildings making up the skyline of beautiful Houston, Texas. Our broadcast setting tonight. Welcome to 2K Sports Live's Saturday night coverage of the NBA. Thanks for tuning in. And tonight, we've got the Los Angeles Lakers playing against the Houston Rockets here in Toyota Center. Joined now by Greg Anthony, Chris Weber, and our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. This is Kevin Harlan. With us tonight, one of the quickest players in league history, Kenny the Chip Smith. They almost feel like they should say your name fast because that's the way you played the game. Well, I just have thanks for having me. Yeah, well, it's good to have you. But is, is the show going to be fast? Because I, I heard like it's a little bit less time down here than it is up top. Well, it, I think yeah. it goes by so quickly. It, it, yeah, it's not Works quite on. jet quick, but it, okay. does, it does play with some pace. Because when you guys are home sleeping, we're still on the air. Yeah. I just want that, you to know that. That is true. We're right. actually, that is true. We might be having a uh, tea for two after. <laughs> There it, is. there it is. <laughs> and that is true. <laughs> Whatever that is. <laughs> and now the Lakers starting group. LeBron and Davis, the incredible forward pair. Contavious Caldwell Pope is out there with Jay. And it's Gasol. And at the pivot spot, manning the middle. And for the Rockets, we've got Oubre. Porter is out there with Nilakina. Then there's Draymond Green, and it's Ibaka in at the center position. And when you watch Anthony Davis, Jet, rare versatility. Uh, hard to think of anyone in the league who matches up well with him defensively. No, not at all. His length, his athleticism, and when he's healthy, he's an MVP-level producer. A good guy, and I just like the way he's now starting to win. But when you said being healthy, that's kind of everything for him because we know he can do it when he's feeling good. If he's not healthy, he's just a good big man. But when he's healthy, he is probably the best in the business. And in fairness to him, let's remember, this is the first time he's played on a team with a chance. I think that's helped to change his mentality. On offense, Davis keeps his head up and maintains awareness. That's how he spots a wide-open man. This is it to Ibaka. Fade away. And that's collected by Jay. Caldwell Pope on the wing. And out of bounds as the Rockets gain possession. Now let's send it over to David Aldridge, who was able to talk with Taylor Jenkins. Thanks, Kevin. I expect this to be an inside-out kind of game. This team has a lot of shooters who can really get going once they hit a few. We'll see if they can get on a roll from out there. Kevin? Thanks, David. Always want to get those threes falling consistently. Here's Nilakina. He had 10 points in the win against Utah. Outside, Porter. Down low. Goes up with a stripe. And Davis sends it back. Oh, the long reach of Davis. Outstanding at using his wingspan to erase shots. And it's in there. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Yeah, very little resistance. I mean, you have to bring much faster help than that. Here's Oubre following the basket by Anthony Davis. Oubre with it. 11 points for him in that last game against Utah. Shot clock at five. It's Porter outside. Excellent D there from Jay. Not how you want to start the game. Four straight misses. I, I'd like to see some better ball movement from them. All heart from Caldwell Pope there, using every ounce of strength to muscle that shot in. Here's Nilakina following the basket by Contavious Caldwell Pope. And here's Green outside. That shot off. Yeah, slow start right now. Five straight misses to get this one going. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. One of my favorite bigs in the entire NBA. When Anthony Davis is on the floor. It's appointment viewing only. Lakers shooting their first free throws of the game on this trip to the line. And that one falls for Davis. And there are a lot of questions on the best way, guys, to develop talent in the NBA. Uh, uh, Kenny, would, would you restructure youth basketball in the U.S.? Many fans think that the G League could supplant college hoops. I think I would restructure it in this way. And it has nothing to do with the players. I would just make sure that the coaches are 
coaches. Meaning, to get a driver's license, what do you need? You need out there to learn to drive. To get a, any kind of thing, you need a license to do it. You don't need a license to be a coach. No. Nah. And, and not to mention, this is still a business. So I'd rather have the impact of what the college game brings because now I got a ready-made star coming into our game. You think about when Magic and Bird came in. They were big stars because they have played in the most watched game ever. Right? Absolutely. There's still a, a huge advantage to having collegians come into our league. And now the first timeout called here for the Rockets. And they just can't seem to get going offensively. Yeah, they might be pressing a little. I mean, forcing some things. This is a good opportunity to calm everyone down. And just under two and a half minutes elapsed here in the first. Lock at six. Can they get it? Another miss by Houston. Very dangerous to leave a guy like that open. Lucky break there for the D. Caldwell Poe passes to Jay. Caldwell Pope outside. Here's Jay, and he jams it with authority. Excellent all-around performance so far. Hence the big lead. They've come out of the gate strong at both ends of the floor. Just, just in total control so far. So it's Neely Kino who brings up the ball for the Houston Rockets. Still without a basket in the game. Oubre outside. Laid in with a nice touch off the glass. And that ends the struggle. You can feel the tensions in the building with each miss. Well, now that they have that monkey off their back, you know, hopefully they can settle down and execute. Yeah, they're going to have a nice little run here. And we're approaching about three and a half minutes played in the first quarter. Outside Porter. Now the pass to Uber. The NBA being so much about entertainment, Kenny. If you had to choose the best showman in the league, who would you pick? Ooh, the best showman. For style and charisma. Steph Curry. Mm. Yeah, he'd be, he'd be right up there, wouldn't he? LeBron is the showman. But Steph is, I think, the top of the league. Giannis is a showman. Uh, but he's by grit, Harden, and maybe some days I am. I would go with that as well. The one thing that, the, the one reason that I have a little concern with Steph is we haven't, those other, like LeBron doesn't have to have a great team. You know, he can make a team great. That's the one difference well, you, with him. Well, I think hey, I do that. He made that team great before Kevin Durant got there. No, 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 no. Well, he's playing with a few other Hall of Famers. My point is, if you put him out there with guys who weren't all-star caliber players, that's my concern. I, and we've seen, I'm with you, Giannis has done that, LeBron has done that. Steph's a showman in his current and Luka. existence. And Luca without a, show, a doubt. All -time show. Now, here's Porter. He had 16 points in the win against Utah. I mean, and you look at his free throw numbers. I mean, this shows you how much pressure he put on the defense. And Porter comes to help. Caldwell Pope with a wide open look. Here's Davis. And there's the bucket. Stay with it on the offensive glass, getting it done. Davis has got six points. Well, it's no secret that Davis can be a dominant figure on the offensive glass. I mean, and he turns those rebounds into points. And it's Oubre off the drive. And Gasol sends it back. He's gone off the rails this quarter. And it's a bad time to do it. I mean, but they're needing a fight from behind. Displaying intensity right off the opening tip, especially on the offensive end. Yeah, they've been very aggressive, and they've taken early control of this game. Here's Nilakina. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Looking to end the run. Green breaking loose. Nilakina can't hit. He usually takes advantage of D like that. 
Should have been a simple layup. Oh, he blocked it and deflects off the backboard. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. Rejected by Gasol. Wow. Trying to challenge Gasol. Big time two-way player. He gets it done on both ends. Really seizing the momentum of this game, but doing it with a methodical approach. They decided to pound the ball inside, using their physicality to set the tone. Timeout called the Rockets. Kenny, you played alongside some incredible clutch performance. Who would you give the ball to now for a game deciding three? Game deciding three. Steph Curry's number one, Clay Thompson number two. Ray Allen's retired, so I'll go with Trey Young. What about Dame Lillard? Dame, Dame Ooh, Lillard. Ooh, I'm sorry. Dame Ooh. Lillard, number three. And oh. then... Ooh. Then Trey. Say, wait, 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 sorry. Steph, Steph Clay, <laughs> Lillard. Lillard. Lillard, okay. Game winning, three. Not off the dribble. I'm going to throw a, a, a wild card out there. Who's that? Kawhi. No. Kawhi. Says, uh, hey, hey. Kevin wild. and I saw him hit one of the biggest threes. Yeah, that's a wild card, though. That's a wild uh, card. I mean, hey. He had a three to get to the finals. Yeah, I'm not mad at that. And he was injured that game. Yeah. He had those series. Oh, fantastic vision. I mean, Brown always cognizant of everyone around him. Outside, Porter. Pass to Trent. To end the cold streak. And the layup is up and in. That's a perfect setup. Solid screen, defender can't avoid it. Opens up a clear path to the bucket. Lakers leading by 18. Pass to LeBron. Shoots over Oubre. It's Davis on the wing. No good with the triple. Rockets on offense. They put up a nice win against Utah last time out. Yeah, and that one, they just locked it down defensively. Challenged shots and, and really protected the rim. Well, they certainly made their presence felt on defense. They were active and rejected a number of shots. Now, here is Ibaka. Boy, he was something else against Utah. Oubre, good. Oh, it's all about the assist on that play. He puts it in the perfect spot. Here's Jay, puts it up from 12. Set it up with the fake, but it's offline. And now here's Oubre, fast break chance. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. And one on Caldwell Pope. And you know what? You allow a guy to get right to the rim like that, that's your only option. Guys, the game nowadays is more open, more freedom of movement. Kenny, do you like where the game seems to be headed? Yeah, as a fan, I like it. And yeah. if, if I was a player, I would like it. Um, because of my style of play, I can imagine a lot of players in my era wouldn't like it. But uh, a lot more fun to watch, a lot of flow to the game. The, the thing I like about it is... You have to be more skilled in the game today because you can't just grab and hold and beat people up today. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, like, your, like your Nick teams. Yeah, exactly. We would have <laughs> we would have struggled today. We would have struggled. Looking at who's out there now for the Lakers. Henson checked in for Gasol. Kyle Kuzma comes in for Davis. And Malone's subbed in for Caldwell Pope. Lakers leading by 14. Malone outside, kicks to James. No good on the shot, a bit long that time. He's as surprised as anyone with that miss. When he's left alone like that, you can usually count him. Los Angeles has gone 0 of 2 from deep here. Here's Jay. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Los Angeles shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. That free throw good from Jay. And the Lakers making a change here. Horton Tucker's checked in. Both free throws good from Jay. Yeah, drawing fouls and making them pay at the line. Now Oubre, he has six. 
Here's Trent. And denied. He sends it right off the glass. And on the glass so far, it hadn't even been close. Passes it to Jay. To the middle. Some nice passing here by Los Angeles. The pass to Henson. Fires the three. Weber pulls it in. The NBA definitely is a global product, and at the same time, Commissioner Silver reaffirming the league's American values of free speech. It's caught some people off guard, perhaps. It's not always easy, is it? Well, he's got the most difficult job, and uh, you've got to give the commissioner a lot of credit, staying true to who he is and what he feels the league is about, and able to tell that story to the world, and not just here nationally, but internationally. Sacrifice money that was coming into the league for values that he thought were important. Bottom line, freedom is not free. And so he makes both from the line. Lakers leading by 12. Jay, the pass to Horton Tucker. Henson in the corner. Kuzma, right side, just five on the clock. A baseline J, and the rebound goes to the Rockets. Uber. Ray, outside. Pass to Trent. Wood passes to Trent. Back to Wood. He shoot again, and Henson sends it back. Can't cash in up close on the shot from Jay. Tate the pass to Trent. Oubre outside. Pass to Tate. Rubber with it. Here's Wood. Boy, that went against the Jazz. He's another guy who really showed up to play. Good work there as it goes. And this has been a great job of just getting into the middle of that defense and really scoring effectively from the paint. Now here's Malone. It's a 10-point game. Doubled by Oubre. Denzel Valentine, he's checked in for Jay. Teams making substitutions here. And the three-pointer, something that, that's exploded in importance the last half decade. Kenny, do you feel you would have played differently if you came into the league today? Without question. Because, Greg, I was probably, if you told me I could get 30 points or 20 assists, I would have said 30 points. I was that type of mentality. I, I liked scoring because scoring came easier to me. Uh, finding people didn't come as easy. So I would have love to play in this era where I don't have to think about getting you the ball as much. <laughs> I would have loved that. And honestly, the passing lanes are bigger because the court is more space. Yes, like, so you, you, if you shoot it, like we talk about, your ability to shoot it at a high level makes the game easier. Yeah. Because now, guys, the pump, you can lift your head. They're jumping out of position. You know, they're guarding the three-point line tighter, so you have more room to operate. They've got Porter. Wood out there with Ibaka. Then there's Kelly Oubre. And it's Weber in at the three. It's the five for Houston right now. All right, let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. 
Well, Jay in that last matchup against the Grizzlies delivered a performance for the ages. He scored 36 points and seemed to pick apart the defense all night with a ton of assists. The stat line was filled and the whole league is talking about it. We'll see what he does for an encore tonight, Kevin. Thanks, David. Yeah, it was a special night for him. The team really fed off his energy. Yeah, the catalyst for that win, it, it was an effort that I'm sure he's hoping to replicate tonight. Yeah, right. Now, I, I'm sure he wants to come out in attack mode. The other key for him is to continue to get to his spots on the floor. And Davis sends it back. But they recover it. Back to Weber. Pass to Ibaka. Six on the shot clock. Oubre outside. Near the three-point line, it's Porter. It's not going to go for him. And the Lakers will go the other way with it. They led the game at one point by 20. They're off to San Antonio after this game, bringing their show to the AT&T Center. In the midst of a four-game road trip right now. That'll be game number three. Now, here's Oubre. After the miss from Jay. Porter looking it over. Back to Oubre. And Davis sends it back. And it's going to be a 24-second shot clock violation. They turn it over. Lakers leading by three. So many combo guys in the backcourt now, Kenny, but there are still a few traditional style point guards left. And they're, they're sure fun to watch. Yeah, yeah, you still got Rondo. You still have Mike Conley. Yep. Uh, you know, obviously CP3. These are traditional point guards that think pass first. Uh, still got LeBron. Mm. He's a traditional point guard. He passes first. Uh, so it's still fun to watch. And here's Caldwell Pope. He picked up 12 points in their last win against the Grizzlies in Memphis. Oh, oh that was an impressive throwdown. Yes. And talk about putting some extra on it. That dunk was way over the top. Close game or not, he's going to finish firm when he gets the space. Timeout called the Rockets. And they just can't seem to get going offensively. Yeah, they might be pressing a little. I mean, forcing some things. This is a good opportunity to calm everyone down. Wood kicks to Weber. Houston moving the ball around. And they haven't been able to turn it into a big lead, but their rebound advantage is starting to add up. To the inside, it's stolen by Ibaka. Oubre, no one around him. That misses, had a chance to tie it there. Feeds it to Davis, and finished off by Davis. When the brow gets up, get out of the way, unless you want to be on a post. Now, here's Porter. Nine points in the game so far. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need a basket. Oubre passes to Wood. He kicks to Porter. Shot clock at six. The dish to Ibaka. Houston needs to get a shot. Oubre for three. He gets hauled in by Los Angeles. Hanson's got his fourth rebound in this one. Well, I'll tell you what, he's going to buy himself a ticket to the bench if he keeps shooting it like that. He has been putrid here this quarter. Nice play, and you can see they're gathering momentum. They've been a more cohesive team over this stretch, and that helps account for their lead. Porter passes to Weber. Here's Wood. Three-pointer. A rebound by the Lakers. Jay's got it. Got four rebounds now tonight and finished off by Davis. So tough to contain Davis, but he's on a roll. He's got the physicality and an expansive on the round school. There's the pass to Weber. And Ibaka kicks to Ubre. Shot to stop the run and foul on the shot. So he'll get a chance at the line. 
Rockets have shot 70% from the free throw line tonight, 7 for 10. Only shooting 71 really on the season, so there is plenty of room for improvement. And the Rockets making a change here. Trent's checked in. A good job by him on the glass here tonight. Plus 8 in that department. Just impressed with the teamwork out there, setting the table for one another. Here's Trent. He's got six. From deep three-point range, and Henson pulls it down. Henson's got six rebounds in the game. And it's Davis missing. Porter against Caldwell Pope. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. Kenny, always fascinating to get your take. We sure appreciate you coming by. Man, it's great to be here, man. Thanks for having me, man. Happy to be here. This is the best studio show up top but we got the best down here by the bottom. Are they, are they paying you well? Are they paying you well? Not as well as y'all are. I tell you, <laughs> not as well as y'all are. And what an experience it was, Greg, to have Kenny joining us. You always know he's going to give you his honest opinion, which makes him so great. Kevin, and throughout his playing days and now as a broadcaster, Kenny has never pulled any punches. He, he'll tell it to you like it is, and that's one reason he is so beloved. And I don't care what his size is. You cannot forget to box him out. He's just got a nose for the ball, and he is fearless in attacking the glass. Takes the assist and lays it in. Picked out the pass nicely. He has seven. I mean, it took him a long time to get into the flow of the game, but the points are starting to come for him. Now. Jay, the pass to Malone. to Jay. To the paint. It's tipped. And he goes up strong with one hand and flushes it down. And he can do a lot more damage to the rim than that when he wants oh, to. Oh, you're right. And with the lead they're enjoying, I'm surprised he didn't put a little something extra on that one. Here's Trent. Six points for him. Yep, it counts. Pick works well there. Not much resistance from the deep. Right, it's a lazy effort. Let's just be honest. Hoping the shooter misses, that doesn't constitute defense. And a close game so far through the first two quarters as we reach halftime. Lakers lead by five. We'll be back shortly live from Houston, Texas. We've got second half action for you, and if the next couple quarters are similar to the first, this one could go down to the last possession. It's been one outstanding game from Jay. And how about the amount he's contributing in the scoring column through two quarters? He has been terrific. This game has his fingerprints all over it. Now looking to replicate what he did in the first half. And now let's check out the lineups courtesy of Gatorade all fueled up and ready to go for the second half of basketball. So for the Lakers right now, LeBron and Davis, the incredible forward pair. Jay out there with Caldwell Pope, and it's Gasol. And at the five, roaming the paint. Neely Kina passes to Oubre. When you look at the balance of power between players and teams, Greg, does it feel like the players now have more say, more control than they used to? No doubt. Uh, we're seeing more players demand trades, sign shorter contracts with opt-outs. And the irony of that is, in my era, our best players were fearful for the length of their contracts mm. or, or the life expectancy of their careers, believe it or not. And these guys today, they understand their value. Uh, they know what they bring to the table, and they are utilizing that to the max. And is that good, Greg, for the game? 
I think so. I, I, I do think most guys want to win, and they understand that their legacies are going to be defined about whether or not they do. What you love most about Gasol is his passion. I mean, he inspires everyone around him. He competes every night. And they're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. Oubre against LeBron. Gasol trying to free himself up. They grab their own miss. Count it. Good. LeBron's got his first points of the game. And hard work on the glass. Once again, guys, they put a lot of effort and focus on the back. Oubre outside. He feeds it to Green. Inside, here's Neela Kina. Porter kicks to Neely Kina. Over Caldwell Pope. Neela Kina can't hit. They know they can't give him that shot. The D's are over it. Not even giving him an inch of space. They get the rebound. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Serge Ibaka picks one up there. Davis gets to the line. People don't talk about it, but he's an excellent foul shooter, about 80% most seasons. And both free throws good for Davis. Here's Nilakina. Looking at his numbers, he averages a bit over nine points a game. To the inside, Porter, and a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. That's on LeBron James. He's had a few chances at the line, one of three in the game. And he's been terrific, guys. I mean, the percentage right around 86%, so no doubt he's pleased with that. So one for two that time at the stripe. Lakers leading by seven. Here's Davis, and that one good. Davis has got 24. And obviously his momentum from the last game has carried over here tonight. Yeah, that's why he's hot. And he's playing with a lot of confidence. That's why they're going to him with such consistency. Down low. The kick out to Porter. Launches a three. Anthony Davis with the rebound. Davis has got rebound number 10 tonight with that last one. To the paint. And he uses the glass on the layup. And now an 11-point Laker lead. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Timeout called the Rockets. You have to like what we're seeing from Davis. Uh, there should only be one thing they're talking about in this timeout. Trying to deny him the ball in the paint before he does any more damage. Kyle Kuzma's checked in for Los Angeles. Just over two and a half minutes gone by here in the second half. Bobs it up for Ibaka. Nice catch and finish on the alley-oop. An active passer with good awareness. When Neil Aquina spots the open teammate, he gets it to him. And we're going to have a jump ball. It's tied up there. Let's take another look at the staunch defense during that mobile one block. And that'll give him a jolt. Nothing like a rejection to light a fire under you. And the Rockets with possession here. Rockets trail by nine. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. Davis has got the glass covered here tonight. 11 boards for him. A nice shot by Gasol. That's their third straight make off an assist. So it's Neely Kino who brings up the ball for Houston. I see him, I see him. Oubre outside. Yeah, they've shown effort and aggression in the paint, really, right from the tip. Their rebounding edge right now, massive. And shot by Caldwell Pope, no good. Nothing seems to be going down for him today. And Davis sends it back. One-on-one -on -one here. 
Loads it up for Davis, and it's Davis with the jam. Love the timing Davis has. He, he has a sense for when to rise up and slam down the alley. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. He has shot them in the foot with his inability to make shots tonight. They blow the whistle just as he gets it off. That's two points with a chance for another one at the stripe. Yeah, liking the vision there from Caldwell Pope, looking to get his guys going when they're open. And the Lakers with some changes. Horton Tucker's checked in. And it's Denzel Valentine in for Caldwell Pope. Now, here is Weber. Defense right on him. Here's Nilekina. And a great assist by Weber as that one goes in. Weber's got his third assist on the night. Kuzma outside. To the middle, here's Jay. Weber pulls it in. Rockets trail by 12. Out to the right wing. Here's Neela Kina. They get it back. And Crane is right there. You got to box out Green. He's a dangerous rebounder. He knows how to create second chance opportunities. Passes it to Jay. Inside. It's stolen by Green. Oh, and a fast break for the Rockets. The big dunk at the end of the break. Well, if you don't take care of the ball, fellas, that's what can happen. Absolutely, Greg. That makes the turnover even more painful. You're going defense to offense in an instant. Every team now calibrated to do that. Davis against Ibaka. Davis, the pass to Kuzma. No good, unable to end this run. Is some tough defense there against one of the better finishers in our game. Here's Neela Kina. Seven points in the game. Pass to Trent. Again with the block. A, a defensive stalwart so far. That's six blocks. Greg protecting the rim. Love the hustle. An all-around player. Kuzma's very solid at finding these guys in this spot. So it's the Rockets now, trailing by 10. Neely Kina passes to Ibaka. Lays it up and in off the pretty assist. Neely Kina's got nine points. Oh, great flow to that possession. Two players totally in sync with each other. The pass to Horton Tucker. Down low. And he takes the feed in stride and slams it home. And one step ahead of the defense with that solid screen. And then Greg, the monster dunk to finish it off. Well, come on, guys. Someone has to rotate over. Defensively, that's just poor communication. Trent gets the bucket. He's been as dependable as he always is. He can't do it all by himself. Here's Jay, and that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Our great talkers over the years, trash talkers on the floor in this league. Do you think they do it more to get themselves going, Greg, or do they do it with the purpose of getting under their opponent's skin? And Kevin, that's a, a great question, and believe it or not, you see both. I've seen guys who do it to get under your skin, and I've also seen guys that do it for their own benefit. That's how they derive their confidence. And so uh, it's about you figuring out what works for you. I've seen some guys, they don't say smack. They don't, they don't say a word during the course of the game, but they will cut your heart out. So it's just about what fits your personality in terms of making you play your best. Well, I'm glad you don't trash talk here on 2K, Greg. I'll tell you that right now. No, we don't do that. <laughs> Always going up for the alley-oop here. Lakers leading by six. Jay, the pass to Henson. And yes, it's good. Henson's got his first bucket of the night. Textbook, nice pass, great catch, even better finish. Houston's gone into the three-point range four times since halftime and buried two of them. Pass to Trent, the three. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. 
They led the game at one point by 20. And they have built their advantage on the scoreboard here by doing all the little things. Malone, no luck. And for Houston, they're shooting 48% from the field as a team in this third quarter. One on one here. Here's Kuzma. Banked in off the glass. Kuzma's got his second bucket of the night. Superb at leaking out and running that smart route. Kuzma, he, he loves capitalizing in transition. Neely Kina passes to Trent. Down goes basket number six for him this game. He's taken 12 shots and made half of them. And he is really in a zone right now, playing and scoring with confidence. Up top, Kuzma. He's averaging just around eight and a half points a game. He's forcing things a little bit in this quarter. Settling for shots that he'd be better off passing up. And Christian Wood, undrafted in 2015 out of UNLV. Wait a minute, that's your alma mater. <laughs> hey, talk about his game. What do you like about Christian Wood's game? Well, first I'll start with he went to UNLV. Uh, he's long, he's lean. He, I think he really fits the modern NBA as a small ball center. Able to hold his own on the glass and space the floor. Trent gets the bucket. You can learn a lot by watching him operate in their offense. Timeout called the Lakers. And the talk in their huddle is going to be about taking care of the basketball. I mean, their turnover numbers are terrible. <laughs> The Lakers making a switch here. James has checked in. Los Angeles leading by six. To the paint. And John Henson with the slam. And just tacks a few more points onto their lead with the tomahawk. Ah, that's bringing it down hard. And the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. And you got to love the big bucket in the paint in this sort of a grinded-out game. The Rockets have had 15 tries at the line. They've made 10. There's 154 left in the third quarter. Woke loose. Eight, covered by LeBron. And he takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. 12 points for him. No, 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 the D will give it to you. That's where you want your shots coming from. Arms slip from the bucket. Yeah, he, he's shown terrific control of the pace and the rhythm of this offense. Oh, man, so unselfish. He's doing a great job creating for others and, and making pinpoint passes. Good. Trench got 11 in the second half. Taking things into his own hands. He's been a beast this quarter. Malone kicks to Kuzma. Wood with the block. And it's Houston on the break. And he caps off the fast break with a monster slam. Beautiful job closing the gap here. Let's see if they can sustain this run. It's not going to be easy, but they've come this far, and they're right here. Jay, the pass to Kuzma, uses the glass to finish the layup. Kuzma's got four points in the quarter. Good at taking initiative inside. Once Kuzma is near the hoop, he's focused on scoring. Here's Trent. 21 points in the game. It counts, and the foul. Kyle Kuzma picks one up. Kick works well there. Not much resistance from the D. But it's a lazy effort. Let's just be honest. Hoping the shooter misses, and that doesn't constitute defense. Kelly Oubre is checked in for the Rockets. Marcus Gasol's checked in for the Lakers. 29 seconds left here in the third quarter. LeBron left side, and it goes down two points. James has got six. There's 21 seconds left in the third quarter. And this will be the last possession of the quarter if they're patient. Yeah, no need to rush right here. Let the clock run a little. Then execute your offense. Here's Trent. Oubre outside. 
Another miss by Houston. And we'll be back with you shortly. And while we can now, let's take a look at today's State Farm assist of the game. And, and I'm glad this was the pick because I love this pass. Such a great dish. That's what I call court vision. Well, it's also called making a good read, understanding where everyone is and taking full advantage. Fantastic. And with these teams locked in a very close contest, this fourth quarter promises to be a good one. We've got Oubre, and it's Tate at small forward. It's the five for Houston right now. Trent gets the bucket. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. Here's Jay. Malone kicks to James. Nice ball movement here by the Lakers. Kuzma outside. Just five to shoot. The tray. And the rebound goes to the Rockets. Here's Trent. To take the lead. Oubre for three. Doesn't go for him. So Los Angeles will take it the other way. Jay the pass to Malone. And the rebound goes to the Rockets. Woods got eight rebounds in this game. To the inside. Solid play on the low block, and that one's good. And the Rockets lead by two. And, and offensively, they seem to have turned a corner. Passes to James. Back to Malone. Plenty of space. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Kyle Kuzma. That's his third foul of the game. Porter's checked in for the Rockets. Anthony Davis, he's checked in for the Lakers. Caldwell Pope comes in for Malone. Porter passes to Wood. Final quarter here, and we're just over a minute and a half through it. But they get it back. The Rockets again can't hit. He hasn't chipped in with many points tonight. The good thing he has the guys around him to carry the weight. You gotta love his hustle, leaving the defense no time to react. And how about then not settling? I mean, instead of being lazy with the shot selection, they go right to the rim. Outside, Porter. Pass to Wood. Inside. And there's a nice one-handed slam. And he's an automatic finisher when he gets into that area. He is, and he picks the simple one-hand stuff to get the two points. Here's LeBron, and James throws it down. James is just remarkable, showing no remorse when he's attacking the rim. Just a little under two and a half minutes have passed now here in the fourth. Oubre with it. Here's Porter, and Davis sends it back, and he gets it back. Jay covered by Oubre, and another assist. That makes 15 assists. He's been one step ahead of the defense all game long. outside the pass to Wood rejected by Gasol and that one goes out of bounds last touch by Gasol Ibaka kicks to Neely Kina. Four on the clock. Puts it up. And it hung on the rim, but wouldn't fall for him. Lakers have gone three of six in the field so far in the fourth quarter. James with the bucket. There's almost no stopping LeBron if he's allowed to get inside. Too strong, too skilled. Neely Kina looking it over. The stripe, Green breaking loose. Oubre can't get it to go. 
Lakers leading by four. No one near James as he lets it go. Misses. Fourth time against seven makes for this game. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Gasol against Oubre. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. That's on LeBron James. Free throw. Good. Oubre. And one of the problems in the first half, that shoddy work at the free throw line. They needed to fix that, and they've been much improved since the break. Right side, Davis. Kicks it out to James. Back to Davis. Good, and the assist goes to LeBron. 30 points for Anthony Davis. Just no resistance on the inside. That's their fifth consecutive make in the paint. Pass to Uber. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. No good on that one. He hits the second from the line. Here's LeBron. And they double up James to the middle doesn't go that time great tee that time from Green Oubre against Caldwell Pope that one's in there the Lakers lead is cut to just one point on the basket from Oubre and the D not really doing its job there a little slow to react to the ball getting into the paint down low and it's stolen by Green Passes it to Uber. And no good. Had a chance to take the lead there. For Los Angeles, they've gone 5 of 10, 50% from the field. Oh, going high to throw that one down. Sky high. Fantastic one-hand jam. Neely Kina passes to Ibaka. He dishes it to Ubre. And they're unable to get the tying basket there. He lobs up the LU pass, an emphatic LU jam. Oh, and the lead gets bigger on a ridiculous offensive sequence. That dunk alone would have been spectacular. Never mind it coming at the end of an LU. -oop. Oubre outside. Well, high post shot, and too long on the shot. And, and he has definitely been struggling in this quarter. Oh, just off his game, forcing a few shots, not letting the game come to him naturally. And, and what a half for this offense. If they can stay this high, a great chance to extend this lead. Now Oubre, here's Green. The Rockets again can't hit. James outside. Fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway, so a three-point play chance for him. Well, come on. We all know LeBron is used to getting fouled, but it's just amazing how he keeps his focus. Such a powerful player. And LeBron James, still the face of the league as he goes into his mid-30s. The impact he's had on this sport is really immeasurable. Come on, G.A. I mean, he's one of the most recognizable athletes in the world. I mean, it's scary to think when LeBron can still turn it on and take over when he needs to. And you know what? Playoff LeBron is a very real thing. Pass to Green. To the paint. Here's Ibaka. And Ibaka slams it in. Uh, because you must respect Draymond off the dribble, the roller able to break through. Here's Jay, and he says right back at you with a big dunk of his own. And one step ahead of the defense with that solid screen. And then Greg, the monster dunk to finish it off. Well, come on, guys. Someone has to rotate over. Defensively, that's just poor communication. 
Here's Mila Kina. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. And when Mila Kina is penetrating with force, the defense has to act. Love the aggressiveness. The first free throw is good. And good on the second, so he makes them both. Oh, not many players with the more steady hand at the free throw line than this fellow. Caldwell Pope wishes to James. Here's Jay, and it's good. Two points. Jay's got it. Got six in the quarter. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Neely Kina passes to Ibaka. Kicks it to Oubre. And finished off by Oubre. Oh, that's a major league throwdown. Keeps a tight grip on that rim, too, after the finish. Here's Jay. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. That's good from Jay. Both free throws good from Jay. Pockets trailed by 11. Oubre outside. No good from outside. Listen, the more threes he misses, I mean, the more he wants to take. Where they do that at? <laughs> That's not the right mindset. Now, assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball movement. At the elbow, it's Ibaka. Right wing. Floats one. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. That one on Caldwell Pope. And the French native has already made an impact. Neil Aquina is a young guard who plays with confidence and purpose. And the first one drops. So he gets them both. I like that he's playing with the edge here in the second half. I mean, he didn't get to the line once in the first half. And the pass to LeBron. Outside Gasol. Offline with his three. And here's Green. He'll bring it up for the Houston Rockets. 11 point game. And a wide open look for Porter. All three off the mark. Oh, that's just a lucky break from the deep. Yeah, keep giving him that shot. Bad things will happen. And now it's Green running. He can go all the way. And Green slams it in. Gotta be careful around Neil Aquina, an active defender who uses his length to come away with steals. And the Lakers call time here. And team strategies closely guarded. One aspect of the game the fans aren't always privy to. Yeah, and, and sometimes it's the most subtle moves that make the biggest difference. And now we present our New Balance player of the game, Jane. And Kevin, it, it's a no-brainer. He's controlled every aspect of this game and it's just so fun to see a player perform at a level that's just higher than anyone else out on the floor if he can only contribute like this for them every night you can't overstate how much better it makes this team when he has a game like this and on the road no less LeBron passes to Jay Caldwell Pope outside Trying to get open is Davis, and again, no good by the Lakers. And that's an important rebound, especially on a night where the board work has not been their best. Only the one made basket in the fourth. He hasn't provided them with a whole lot offensively. Down low, here's Gasol. Great D that time from Oubre. Rockets trail by seven. Porter dishes to Ibaka. Gasol against Oubre. Over Gasol. Not enough on that one as it misses. Los Angeles has gotten just one of four three-pointers to go down for them here in the fourth. Pass to Jay. Inside, Porter with the steal. And here's Oubre. Pass to Nilekina. 
good on the three. Look, I know he wants to get him back into this, but that's not the way to do it. They need smart shots, not the heaves. Third on the first, and that trims the lead to six. He's off on the free throw and able to get that second one to drop in. They're looking to get the most out of every possession. Frustrated to miss even one free throw. Right now. To the inside, Gasol. Now the size of Gasol makes him a tough cover. Plus, he knows how to draw five. He doesn't hit the first, and that was the one they really want. He's got one more, though. And the second of two is good. That makes it a seven-point lead. And for Houston, they're shooting only 35% in the fourth quarter. The offense looking a little rickety. Oubre outside. Can't connect from 14 feet out. Even though he's going ice cold, he keeps shooting. I mean, it's late enough in the game for him to recognize uh, this is a better option. Jay, the pass to Gasol. He can't get that one to fall. Some solid defense from Ibaka. And not sure they've got enough time to save themselves. Yeah, uh, it's quite unlikely. But we've seen crazy things happen. I'm a fan of anybody who defends that way. I mean, they weren't about to open the door and just allow him to cruise in for a layup. Timeout called the Rockets. They're down by seven. 40 seconds left in the fourth quarter. seconds left in the fourth quarter. Now, here's Oubre. LeBron with the block. Oh, you got to be cautious around James. He's always on the hunt to swat away shots. Defense in your rear view may be closer than they appear. Gasol and finished off by Gasol. You know, the rest of the D can be stretched a little thin when the double team's in place like that. Neela Kina can't hit. Jay, guarded by Porter. It's stolen by Ibaka. From deep. And the miss. And so the Lakers take the win. They came in here and took care of business like they were the home team. And, and Kevin, how about the mental toughness that this group showed? They, they were never yes. rattled at all by the opposing fans. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Chris Weber, Greg Anthony, and David Alton, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. And we'll see you next time.